Hi, my name is Connor Dibbling and this video is going to be all about how you should be structuring your medical school interview answers. I know we're coming up to Christmas now and people are probably taking a much needed break from some of that interview prep but interviews are still going on, they're going to be starting back up again in January and it's a fantastic time now to really knuckle down. The way that you answer your medical school interview questions is really important, okay? It's probably almost as important as what you're saying. Having a clear structure for how you're going to answer any question means that you don't need to prepare for every question and so you don't sound like you're reading from a script and it stops you just rambling on and saying things that are going to mark you down. Okay, quite often less is more and if you just ramble on and you say things that don't make any sense or you say something that's contrary to your first point, you end up sounding worse than if you'd said nothing at all. There is a fantastic acronym that we can use to structure the majority of our answers to an interview question and that's the STAR technique, S-T-A-R-R. -R. The reason the STAR technique is so fantastic is because you can just pick it up and apply it to so many questions that you'll be asked. We're thinking the ones where you're asked where you've demonstrated a skill, the ones where you're asked to reflect on a work experience, the ones where you're asked something about yourself. S stands for situation. Set the scene. What are you going to be talking about? Where are you at this point? What is the experience you're reflecting on, for example? T stands for task. What were you doing and what was involved with what you were doing at this point? If you've just been asked to talk about a time where you demonstrated leadership, what was involved with what you were doing at this point? A stands for action. What did you do and how did you do it? This is your opportunity to kind of show off a little bit, okay? If this is where you're reflecting on a time when you showed a quality or a skill, this is where you say, this is what I did and it worked really well because. That's where we move on to the first R, which is the result. What was the outcome of the action that you performed? This doesn't have to be an action that you've been taken. This doesn't have to be a question about your leadership skills. This might be a question about what did you learn on your work experience? So you could have set the situation as a GP practice where you did your GP shadowing. Your task could have been that you were sitting in the room while the GP was talking to a patient. The action could be that the patient was a bit confused and getting a bit angry, and so the GP had to use their communication skills and demonstrate good communication. Here the result, the outcome, is gonna be that the patient now understood because of those fantastic communication skills that all doctors need. The final R is the most important and it's the one that's most commonly forgotten, okay? Remember R for reflection. At the end of anything, you need to be reflecting, okay? You need to be talking about what you've learned from that situation, why are you choosing that situation to talk about, and key here, how will you apply it in the future? You've seen that GP have fantastic communication skills. How are you gonna apply that to your own learning? Or this is that time when you demonstrated that you could be a leader, but how are you gonna take those skills, how are you gonna take that learning and apply it moving forward? I realize this was really brief, but I'm gonna keep it brief so that you guys can move on and be doing the key thing you need to be doing, which is practice questions, okay? Jump in front of a camera, just like I am, film yourself answering some of those most common questions, try and use the STAR technique. Let me know in the comments below how you're getting on.